Okay, can I just get into something before I get into the Michael Sarah talk? Um, I came home that saying like, "Ooh, I have an opportunity to sit down and record. This will work." And then I said, uh, "What do I need with me? I need uh, I plugged my phone in so I can play if I need to. Um, I can play with my phone if I need to. Uh, if I run out of shit to say, I set it for about fifteen minutes so I can stretch out. But I still get hurried when I do these, and I start um." forgetting things I say and rushing through my points. Um, and then I thought, you know what you need? Water. Let's get some water going. And then I saw that there was eggnog. And um, in my infinite professional wisdom, I said, well, I also wanted to come home and drink eggnog. So uh, I grabbed a glass of eggnog. So this, I'm sure this is... Um, I'm sure that's on the list of um, things right up along with uh, honey, lemon, lemon honey. Lemon honey. Wait, what am I talking? About? Tea. Yeah, there you go. Like some lemon and honey tea for the th for the vocal cords and soothe them when you're doing long recording. And uh, hood golden eggnog. There's only one eggnog that I like. It's hood golden eggnog. I don't know how far out west it goes, but uh, where I originally where I origined from in New Hampshire, it was a New England thing. I think it was made in Massachusetts, and I moved uh, further west, and then it followed me out here, and it's available at Walmart, and it's always out. And anyway, so um, I, what was my point? I'm drinking that. That's a bad idea. I got my little thing. Uh, jock jams. This sounds like body count to me, like a body count song. Ready? So I always, when I open this app, uh, few and far between, I'll, I'll start doing that. I just imagine Ice T yelling over. <laughs> Body Count is the heavy metal band that uh, Ice T has. Um, they were known for their song "Cop Killer" back in about '91 or so, when uh, Tipper Gore, wife of Al Gore, was creating the PMRC, Parents Music rights activists i don't know whatever <laughs> my, hey i'm drawing michael Sarah, by the way and then there's a beast there's another side that it's uh jock jams 2017 oh yeah i like this too oh uh, oh uh, oh uh. it sounds like uh uh some kind of uh what's his name biggie two smalls Biggie Tupac. Oh. I'm doing it too fast. Anyway, let me put that down. Uh, what the fuck am I talking about? All right. Um, see, I like this one better than any of them. And not to mention having gone, how far are we in? Like three, oh, that's only three and a half minutes. I got plenty of time. I stretched this one out to 15 minutes. I have no idea if I already said this. But uh, I stretched this one out to 15 minutes to kind of spread my leg. <laughs> Wait, what's, what's the term? Not spread my legs. Spread to spread, maybe. What's that term to when you kind of give yourself room? When you kind of spread yourself out? I don't know. Maybe that's what it is. Spread your, like, to spread myself out so that I don't feel rushed. I usually, uh, it's like being, having a 10 minute phone call with a friend in a prison or something. And you're just like, oh, hey, man, I'm, I'm going to get you all wrapped up with everything that I'm saying and everything's been going on. And I'm just going to put it in a tight little bow. And then uh, imagine you got off the phone with him. You can't talk to him for months. And, um, you know, you're just like, shit. I don't know why, but that, that's the feeling I get when I do these, you know, 10 to 12 minute long videos. So I set it to 15. See, I'm like uh, four minutes in and I can still talk all about Michael Sarah, Which, by the way, is who I'm talking, or I'm um, drawing. Uh, this one was weird. It was plagued with problems that I'll get into. Um, it was un unexpected because it was a spur of the moment thing. It wasn't part of my little ongoing list of uh, ideas that I'm going, I'm going to do this one, then I'm going to do this one. All of a sudden I go... I'm going to draw Michael Sarah, and um, because although I've liked him in many things, I like him in uh, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, which is a, even an unlikely like for me. Um, <clears throat> back in like 2010, my wife was uh, still going to Redbox, and even back then I'd, I'd rib her about that. Um, and uh, 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 
So she comes home with a couple movies one night, and one of them is Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. I might be making this up, I swear. Like, I'm, I didn't make the choice. I watched it. I said, all right, I guess we're watching this. Because there was something about it that I didn't like, and I think it was just the, uh, I don't know. Like, I must have seen previews and shit, and I was just thinking, oh, like, here's what it ended up being. A bunch of really cool people in this movie playing um, lethargic, snobby, uh, <laughs> I feel like I'm describing myself, um, lethargic, snobby, sardonic, fucking uh, hipsterish assholes. Like, just, like, too cool. People are just eye rollers, you know what I mean? And <laughs> that was the sequel. It's called uh, Scott Pilgrim and the Eye Rollers. All right, I'm going to move on from that terrible joke. Um, what the fuck was my point? I ended up liking the movie is my goddamn point. And it was, I, I ended up really liking it. And I don't know why still, because like I said, when I think about it, it's like I can't really quote this to people. You know, oh, you remember when he fucking acted like he was too goddamn cool to be there? And the other scene where the, the other person acted like they were too cool to be there? Um, maybe I liked the story. There was something very interesting about this movie where it became uh, like a, like a holiday classic somehow. And it had to do with the fact that it was set in winter, but it was done in a very, like, I really liked it. It was just kind of like a, a very moodful, um, a very moodful tone, nighttime fucking wintry nights and shit like that. And, uh, I like it a lot for the aesthetic. And, uh, anyway, it was all unexpected to me. Like I kind of was shocked, uh, at the end of that movie saying, I actually really liked that. Michael Sarah aside, like he's been great and you know a bunch of shit. He's like a uh, a master of full deadpan comedic actor, and uh, that shit goes all the way back, obviously, to um, what the fuck is it called? Arrested Development, and uh, which is funny because the whole point is when I said, "All right, I want to draw Michael Sarah." That's an interesting. It was just an interesting thing in the moment. Oh, cool! A uh, black area of the thing. I obviously. Missed a gap when I uh, was making the uh, uh, time lapse. Anyway, back to it. Uh, I was also having problems. There was a session that um, corrupted, like one of the sessions corrupted, and so it wasn't playing nice when I was making the time lapses, and um, it kept locking my computer up. Hey, but uh, here you go. The little little bib, tiny baby boy made his uh, appearance, debuting. Not debuting, but uh, uh, you know making his reprise for all right, all right anyway so what the fuck was i saying um he, so yeah i was having problems it was locking up my the whole computer i thought maybe it was a memory issue or something i mean i just put new memory in this motherfucker like what six months ago um and then i found out oh yeah this, this is a thing that i have to keep in mind when this happens is that one of the sessions video files was not playing nice with the other one so i had to actually time lapse render it on its own that was the ultimate solution but that was after several tries yesterday because I actually finished this the night before yesterday. Uh, but if you're watching this at any point in time, you don't give a fuck because there's no reference to what the day before yesterday is. Um, <laughs> shut up. Uh, <laughs> I don't like being scared by a dog's bark. Anyway, so um, what was I saying? Uh, yes, I like Michael Sarah. I uh, you know, decided to do this drawing. And what happened is, and am I past it? I got to a point where it took twice as long as it was supposed to because I'm making, because uh, I'm colorizing these Rego portraits, um, not the whole entire scene drawings, but like these portrait style ones. I like to colorize them and it took twice as long as it was supposed to and actual draw time twice as long as it was supposed to. And what happened was I got to a certain point in the coloring process where he looked like an old ninny. He just looked like an old queen, and then I would take the coloring away, and it like I said, okay, well, the pencil drawing portion of it looks right. I'm like, I just got to keep plugging away at it, um, and that's ultimately what ultimately what ended up hap ended up happening is that I had to keep plugging away at it because, man, you could just take like a couple of strokes with the wrong you know tone or whatever. Like right here, he looks like he's got like crazy sunken David Bowie like you know. Uh, cocaine fashion cheeks going on and so if I'd go away from it I come back uh, you know I'd open the project file I would feel sick to my stomach like I wasted a bunch of time this is going to be embarrassing 
that's ultimately why I like it is because um, I worked at it until it stopped looking like he was uh, a 25-year smoker. And so however it is at the final product, I'm just happy with it again because I'm like, oh, well, I at least competently pulled myself out of this fucking weird hole where, um, you know, it looks like a fucking uh, age progression picture like he had been kidnapped in this picture. Oh, yeah, that's another thing that I did. Um, when I have an idea to draw something, my first instinct is to go to Google Images, and that's always a problem. It's like almost like uh, idea shattering. <clears throat> I go, I need some reference photos. Let's go to Google Images. All the pictures, uh, if I put Michael Sarah, Google Images, um, you either see, depending on what the subject matter is, you'll either see shit that you see other artists already have done the shit out of, you know, it's like uh, you can see Darnarius Targaryen or whatever from Game of Thrones. It's always the same fucking picture. And I guarantee if I go onto Google Images and put Darnarius Targaryen, the Bloodborne, the Bloodsport, the Unburnt, the fucking the Mother of Dragons, a.k.a. the, um, you know, the Freer of Slaves, like all that shit. <laughs> it's always the same fucking picture that these people draw. So what I like to do is, um, what happened here, I look at the Google images, I was just going, I grabbed a bunch of them that I said, maybe this one, maybe this one, maybe this one. It was all like red carpet shit with him, and it was all these weird eccentric things where he's got like a fucking, um, like a, a, a mustache, or he was young when, you know, Arrested Development came out originally years ago, first couple, uh, first season or so. Pictures like that, where you go, he barely even fucking looks like him uh, now. Um, you almost forget. You're like, oh, yeah, that is what he looked like. Anyway, so um, what was the point? So I had these pictures, and I'm like, all right, time to draw, uh, you know, Michael Sarah. And then I go, ah, fuck, this isn't even what I had in mind. Um, and that's what Google Images does. That's a bravo Google Images. It's something you look up your idea and immediately see that you can't find any resources that had anything to do with your own imagination. And I was eager to draw at the time, so I was like, well, my original thought came from the appreciation of this movie, so let me look up, or no, let me fucking scrub through this movie, and I'm like, I don't want to fucking scrub through this movie. I'm like, yeah, but you got the Blu-ray, all right? It's fucking HD. You'll get a nice reference. And then, uh, so it, luckily, I said, all right, well, what else am I going to fucking do? I, I don't like these pictures to, I could choose from online. Um... And so, yeah, you can fucking, you know, scrub through movies and find something that's just a still image. You know what I mean? Like, you know, people won't, I don't know, maybe they would, but people won't necessarily yell at you. Be like, you'd give credit to the photographer. Um, you know, shit like that. Because uh, it's just a fucking random still that you found that you liked, a nice clear still from the movie. So I go into uh, the movie, what was it? And this was like grabbed in the first five minutes. And I, didn't, I was like, I don't have to find anything more perfect than this one. I like this one. It's, it's just, it, it's what I was looking for, essentially. And I liked the, I chose this one out of another scene uh, that um, I said I liked this one because I'm like, ooh, it's got interesting lighting and shit, which ended up being the reason why he looked like an old Gabby ninny in the middle of the uh, thing is because um, a very non-youthful, yeah, I mean, not in any. Um, why was it? Oh, it's because of the fucking lighting. I'm colorblind. I rely heavily on a color picker to, like, get base colors and work from there. And it just, he looked sick in the middle. Like, he just looked gray. And it's hard for me to tell the difference between pink and gray, believe it or not. So I could tell. I was like, he's looking like E.T. Did they kill E.T. in the movie? Uh, like, when E.T. dies, does E.T. die? Either way, he looked rough. Um, and, uh, yeah, what the hell is my point? I'm okay. That's, why I'm, that's what I'm saying. Look at this. I'm okay with this. I'll show this. Uh, I guess that's it. I'm running out of time here. So uh, this is just going to be what it is. This is the commentary. This is the insight into the Michael Sarah picture. I'm just looking at this going like, what the fuck? <laughs> I guess I'm proud of this. This is weird. It's a weird choice. Um. So unfair, uh, not unfair, so uh, uh, unprepared for the plug section. Um, not looking forward to plugging shit. 
just look at all this shit, and if you haven't subscribed to something, please subscribe to it, or at least consider subscribing to it for future shit. Bye.